everybody. I've lost count how many times I have said welcome to another Sunday morning, but I really, really mean it. And I hope you've had a fantastic week. I hope you enjoyed your virtual sports days, your leave us things, everything that you've had um, special this week. And welcome to your holidays. I hope it turns out to be a really, really good time for you. You totally deserve it. Now, last week on Zoom, we're talking about our next lot of videos moving forward. And I said that I would do this video to help you to do that. So let's get on and have a look at our screens for this week. So who is God to you? And that's a theme that we're going to be looking at for the next few weeks, looking at the things that you've learned in life about who God is. And as you can see from the image at the side, God calls himself by a whole load of different names. And at any given time, these names could be really, really meaningful to you. Um, God is the light of the world. God is the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. God is our healer. And the reason that God calls himself by different names is that he wants to make himself known to you in all these different ways. So healer, perhaps you get sick sometimes. And sometimes bad things happen, not because God's being mean, but because he's trying to teach us something really special about himself. And, you know, you're sick, your parents pray, God steps in, heals you, and you have this experience that I don't need to be scared of sickness because God is my healer. Um, it might be God as your saviour. You know, you get to that stage in life where you realise that you've done things wrong, that you're a sinner, and then you hear that God died on the cross for that sin and you ask him to forgive you and to be your saviour. And as you journey through life, God's making himself known to you in all kinds of different ways. So when you're little, you might have one uh, thing that is important about God. Perhaps you know Jesus really well as your friend or God as your father. And then there'll be different experiences that you have that will help you to know God better. And... This one is a really good one for when we're little. The God calls himself a father and we all grow up, most of us, with a father. Some of our fathers are really good fathers and they help us to understand God better. Some of our fathers, they're human beings and they're not perfect. And God steps in and fills the gap that we need in our lives. And it might be, there's all kinds of things about dads, you know the dad that hugs you tight. That's a really nice experience for us all to have those strong arms around us. But the, the father that, that, you know, you jump off the wall and he catches you. The father that is just really fun to play with. Um, but knowing that a dad that loves you and that is there for you. And that's a really important one. We, a lot of us pray, don't we? And when we pray, we say, Father God. This is another one. We sing about this one a lot. God as my rock, God as my strong tower. I think this is a father thing as well. The, the father that protects us when, when things go, go wrong. And some of you will have heard my dog story, how when I was a little kid, I was um, coming back, my family were coming back from my sister's house and we were walking. My little sister was with my mum, I was with my dad, and my dad decided to take a shortcut. And as we were going through some streets, there was this gang of street dogs there. And one of them came running towards me to attack me, and my dad brought out his foot to, uh, to stop the dog biting me, and it bit my dad instead. And when we got home, um, we arrived back just after my mum and sister. Uh, my mum said, hey, what's this mark on the floor? And she looked at it, she said, what are what's, this is blood. And my dad's ankle was still bleeding from where the dog bite had penetrated his skin. But as I've grown older, that's been 
when I've thought of God as my father, I think of my dad doing that for me. And it helps me to know what kind of a dad my father, my father God is to me too. This is one that we've talked about a lot in, in our group as well. Our desire to be perfect and then God realising that we're never going to be perfect. That, that doesn't matter how much we try, we're always going to make mistakes, we're going to sin. And then Jesus coming in and saying, look, I don't even expect you to be perfect. You're forgiven. I forgive you. And that, I think for a lot of us, has been our experience of Jesus as our saviour saying, He'll forgive us and allowing him to take away our perfectionism. I was also thinking a lot of you are getting into that teenage, those teenage years. You're going to secondary school. Uh, it's a huge step in our independence. And I think for me, it was it was getting to know God better as my friend. I When I walked to school, the first part of my journey, I was on my own. And then I met up with my friends as I went on. And I just spend those first minutes every day just chatting to God in my head. And as I look back now, I think that was the formation of me becoming a friend of God. I didn't even mean it to be that way. But that's the way that, that I think God was, that's the work that God was doing in my life at that time. And also I just remember my teenage years as being a time of a lot of complicated stuff happening not just my complicated stuff but other people's complicated stuff around me and I talk to God about it and really seek out his wisdom and really recognize that God was my counselor through that time getting me through all the relationship difficulties of me and my friends and things that happened this is another one I thought about as we were um as I was putting this together, I think as a Sunday school, we've really known a God that answers our prayers. Uh, he answered our prayers with Ellis, with Olivia. And I think we've got this group knowledge of God as a God who answers prayer. So here's where it's over to you. Before, we always get, um, you'd volunteer in pairs who'd like to do the story of of your favorite character whatever what we're asking you to do now if you can do whenever you it, you you can and you've got something ready just send us all your videos together and then as we receive them we'll group a, a few together just like we did before and i've just put some kind of starters for you to think like when i was younger you can look back at when you were younger what was your revelation of god at the time i thought of god as my father and then perhaps thinking my dad was fun and strong like god is and go on to talk, tell us about that you could do like a story like i did the story about god as your protector i remember when this happened but god looked after me um, I know in Sunday school, when we're leading up to worship, we often think about how good God is to us. Um, God is good and the good gifts that he gives us. And I know how each one of you, you value your families, you value the good things that God has given to you. So when you've got all that together, whatever aspect it is that you want to talk about, send it to Ben. You guys know how to do that. And we'll put them together in videos over the next few weeks. Um, this is just a little thing as I began with to show the different times in our lives. The baby, the growing up, the being a kid, being a teenager. But as you chat things through with your family, I think they'll help you to remember things that have happened to you in your family life. And I think each person in your family, your mums and dads will have different experiences and they might tell you their experiences of how they knew God at different times in their lives. Um, one of the things that we've been doing as a family over the last few uh, weeks is as we sat together eating at meal times, people have said, hey, do you remember when? And those remember when experiences are often times when we've learned something about God that they might be things that you'd want to put into your videos. So have a good chat with your parents and see what comes up with them. So happy holidays. I hope you have a really, really good time over the next few weeks. 
Um, just a, one final notice. We're going to be sending you a questionnaire. Kind of feels like we've got to uh, the end of a time and the beginning of the holidays. So we just want to know how we can do things better to help you better um, as we go into the school holidays and then what happens after that. So we'll be contacting you with a questionnaire, really ask you to give you your honest answers and suggestions so that we know what, uh, where we're going with things. And we'll be using the contact details you've given us. So that might be to your mum's or your dad's email. Thanks ever so much for listening and we'll see you later on Zoom. You should have already got the contact details for that, the, the code for this week. Have a great week and we love you. See you later.